Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Adventures of the Popper. We're just gonna pick up where we left off last time. Now, now, last time I mentioned that I was considering uh, changing up the way we're doing the series a little bit, where I would I would play and then just catch you up on anything that you missed in the previous episode. Uh, I did get a little bit of feedback that that you guys are actually enjoying watching me do everything. So we'll just continue to do the series the way we're doing it. I did progress a little bit in the campaign off camera. Uh, but beyond that, I didn't really do a ton. I, I, I may have four-starred Kale as well, but again, you guys saw me leveling up the food. You knew that that was coming. I don't think you've really missed much. I think all I did was push a little bit further in the campaign, farm some farm some potion dungeons, and, uh, and, and that's about it. I don't think you missed much. So also, quick note too, uh, we are above 250 crystals, so we will go ahead and get a clan rolling, which I probably should have sat and thought about before I started recording this video. Um... <laughs> what we're gonna call the clan and all that stuff, but we'll figure it out as the as the video goes on So at some point in this video, I don't I, I don't know that I'll do it right at the beginning But at some point in this video, we will go ahead and make the clan and anybody that would like to join it will be welcome I will set it to where uh, You know, I, I'll try to set it to where I'm not on the list of invites so that I'll know that the only applications I'm getting will be people from the YouTube channel and again, there will be no uh, requirements for damage or anything like that It'll simply be, be active, be involved, and, uh, you know, be trying to get better. That's all we really care about. Also, too, before we jump into it, I just want to say how much I appreciate you guys. Uh, I get a, I'm getting a lot of positive feedback on the series, and a lot of you are very active on the rest of my videos, uh, viewing and commenting and liking and doing a lot of that, and that really helps me out. But beyond it benefiting me, it just, it means a lot. I really do appreciate the fact that you guys are taking time to watch these videos and taking time to leave comments and interact with me and let me know uh, that, that they're helping you and what you think and what kinds of things you would like to see. I really do appreciate that. That really does mean a lot. So um, I, won't, I won't spend a, a whole bunch of time gushing at you guys, but I just wanted to say that I really appreciate that. So uh, let's go ahead and, 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 uh, and get to it. See what we got from our bronze arena chest. We got a decent little divine life weapon and a couple of speed pieces so that's a nice little divine speed shield and not a bad little speed uh divine speed weapon so that'll be a nice little early game set throw on, throw on somebody usually those pieces are such garbage all right how many pop-ups are we going to get here for packs to sell me and things like that let's see oh no not, not that bad this time okay what was our uh, i think our login was the Immortal set? Is that what that was? So we'll go in and take a look at what our what that new gear is we just got. I'll take a I'll pop in the chant box and let you guys see what's been going on. Man, if that was a speed main stat. Um we're gonna buy these mystery shards. I'm not getting a ton of mystery shards and being that that's gonna be our primary source of <laughs> acquiring champs, we should probably be looking to buy mystery shards when they're available so all right where are we at on these upgraded champ to rank four all oh, right so i did i did that i upgraded kale to four and then it restarted these and then now i've i've done everything back up to these but and then we still have a little bit to do in here so pop in the champ box take a look around uh kale is four star now still working on leveling him up i did get shield guard in the mix go ahead went ahead and got him rolling uh, I have slowly started to get Fireblade into the mix. I have I have plans for her, especially once we start Clan Boss. And then beyond that, it's just going to be a matter of leveling food. And then there's a couple more champs down here that I have locked that I have some plans for. But uh, other than that, like I said, you didn't really miss a lot. I, I pushed a little bit further in campaign. I'll show you guys how far we are in campaign. And then moving forward, I won't do it. I won't do that again. But uh, you know, we, we're just up to level 10 now. I think when we stopped, we had just gotten here. We just went ahead and pushed through. To, uh, to Godfrey's Crossing, so nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, so let's actually—I know that we want to do some level. I, I really wish we had an XP boost, but we just don't. We just don't have one, and we don't have the gems to buy one. So I guess we're going to be leveling up food at some point without that. But what we really need to focus on doing is getting Kale leveled up to forty. And then finishing up the leveling on a couple of these champs. What I'm thinking is going to happen is is Sorceress is going to re replace Skull Squire. Because what he was here for was this speed break that he had on his first turn. 
And then the defense break was nice, but it's a second skill defense break. So for here, we've got another speed break on the first turn, uh, an extra hit, and then she also has the defense break in her kit. So she's basically doing everything he's doing, but she's doing it as a rare, which means her base stats are going to be higher, her multipliers are going to be higher, and overall, she's just going to be uh, quite a bit easier to build. So actually, what we're going to do... I never even leveled up these boots. We're going to take his gear off and put it on her, because I think we're done with him. Sorceress is going to do his job better than he does it, so he's going to be gone, which means he's going to be food. Should we decide to... Or, or, or should we decide... Once we decide who we're going to force star next, he'll probably just be food for that. Uh, and that's the beauty. That's a quick note. I don't know if I've made this note. I know I've mentioned it a few times in some other videos, but... Uh, you don't ever have to be hesitant to level a champ up to 5-star. Because worst case scenario... These are garbage. Worst case... Well, eh, we'll keep them around. Worst case scenario, you get them to 5-star and you outgrow them, right? Or maybe you don't like them as much as you thought, or eventually you'll outgrow them, which we're going to do with a lot of these uncommons that we're, uh, that we're going to be leveling up to use. Even if that happens... You can still use them for 6-star food later, right? So even a maxed out level 5, a fully ascended champ, 5-star champ. If you decide at some point you don't want to use them anymore, you didn't really waste anything. Maybe a few potions ascending them, maybe some food ranking, or, 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 or uh, some, some, some energy, I guess, leveling them up to 50. But ultimately, you didn't really waste anything because... Uh, they're going to be 6-star food, right? So, sometimes I, I see people getting real nitzed out about, who you know, ranking certain chance up to 5-star. Do it. <laughs> There's no reason not to do it. Because if you hate them, you outgrow them, whatever it is, you can just use them to 6-star somebody else later. So, don't get too in your head. Too in your own head about that. So, was that a Relentless set? It was a Relentless set. That clarifies it for me. Uh, I, I got a... <clears throat> I had a Relentless set on my Steel Skull, or on my Adriel, and then on my Steel Skull when I was really new in my main account. And I couldn't figure out where I got it, because Relentless doesn't drop anywhere in the game. That I've accessed. None of the dungeons, uh, at least up to Brutal Clan Boss, it, it does not seem to drop. I get the best chest on Brutal, and uh, I have not seen Relentless from there. So unless it drops in Nightmare Clan Boss, I don't think that set drops anywhere in the game. So I've, I was really confused as to where I got it, but I guess it's a, uh, a login set. <clears throat> what sets do we want to put on this chick, man? We definitely want Speed Boots, but we, we don't have a ton of those at our disposal. Those are going to be nice on somebody, though. Actually, we might want that helmet instead. Defense crit damage. Yeah, we probably want... No, 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 no. No. Totally misclicking. Put this helmet on, and then we can probably go... I mean, I guess we'll just put this armor on for now. We're not even really using her. I don't really know why I'm putting so much time <laughs> into putting gear on her. Because we're not really even using her. And she doesn't need this set. What am I doing? I'm tripping, guys. She doesn't need that set. I was trying to move Skull Squire's gear over to her, but she's a little bit different. No, no, no. Okay, she's an attack champ. She is an attack champ. For some reason, I thought she was important. So she could totally use that set. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm doing me. All right, so she needs gloves and boots. Gloves and boots and gloves and boots. And we just don't have them for her yet. So that's okay. We don't need them. Like I said, we're not really using her yet. We'll, we'll build her eventually. I just wanted to kind of throw a little bit of gear. But uh, Kale, I think I think you guys saw the shield in the last one. Popped up in the shop. I bought it. Other than that, I believe his gear is the same. Uh, there's my shield guard. We just went crit rate defense speed on him. And, uh, and the reason for that is... Uh... Crit hit. 
this turn meter boost is reliant on him critting, so we do want some crit on him. Because especially when he hits AoE, if he crits everybody, that's an 80% turn meter boost. Pretty nasty. So we, we're, we're try we, we'd like to shoot his accuracy up, but we just don't have the accuracy gear yet, so we might have to head into the campaign and farm some accuracy gear. But we've dicked around in our champ box long enough. Let's, uh... Let's think about what we want to do. I, I believe the forest dungeon is open, so are there any forest champs that we want to ascend? Sorceress, I guess. Can we ascend her any further? We can. Alright, so there, we got our three star ascended. Not bad, not bad. Fire blade is spirit. Oh, I have a, I have a crusader skill up. Let's do it. Anybody else? Did I pull anybody else? That'd be a good skill up. Mm, doesn't look like it. One, I think I was going to use that Dampier chick down here. What's her name? Not her. That's Redeemer. Her, maybe? Yeah, she's locked. Why, did I, why do I have her locked? Extra turn. AoE. Alright, yeah, we can go ahead and feed her a skill up real quick. Yeah, we'll find something to do for her. Maybe uh, maybe spider. Might be fun. Okay, so we don't really need to farm the forest dungeon. We don't really have anybody pressing for four, so we don't need to, to get in the potion dungeons tonight. Um, I don't know that we can go much further in campaign. We may go play around in the dungeons a little bit. I've been testing out Ice Golem. And... I initially had this opinion... Uh, that you shouldn't come in here and farm until you can farm five to eliminate the two-star gear. But I gotta tell you, I've been farming stage four, maybe 15, 20 runs, not a ton. But I gotta tell you that it's it's been treating me pretty well. I mean, you do get the two-star gear drop occasionally, but uh, I gotta say it's treating me better than I anticipated. I'm getting some decent gear drop out of here. So we may be hanging out in Ice Column for a little bit. And I mean, we're, we're a few decent drops away from bumping up to Ice Column 5. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're a few upgrades. I think this is a decent enough team. I think eventually... Kale can get us killed in here, for sure, right? Because he's got pretty solid AoE. Shield Guard... I don't think he's going to get us killed in here. Um with his AoE, but Kale is doing substantial enough damage that it might be a problem. I also want Crusader to explain to me why he thought it was a good idea to target the, the boss there. Because that seems... That seems ill-advised. Don't know why he did that. Having a defense break on everybody is not a good look, though. I don't think we've failed a run in here, though. Well, it's been fairly reliable. A few champs will die occasionally here at the boss, but I don't recall this team failing any runs. And as Kale just continues to get stronger, I imagine it's going to further solidify our our, uh, our reliability here in this run. So I'm really excited for Armager to get a little bit stronger so that he can start killing those minions with his later rest. But see, like, right there, our first run, we got a four-star retaliation weapon with attack percentage in the substats. Like, I did not anticipate that being as regular of an occurrence as it has. I got some decent reflex look gear. I've had some pretty nice stuff drop. And again, I've had some stuff drop that I had to sell. Some two-star uh, taunting gear, or provoke gear, or, or I think, yeah, I guess that's the same thing. I've had some of that drop, but, I mean, uh, I did not expect to see the quality in gear that I've seen farming this this dungeon so uh my my opinion used to be stick around in the cam campaign and fill your slots appropriately with campaign gear but given the opportunity that you get from in here and how easy it is to farm it's really not that hard to get a team capable of doing even this stage and it's really not that hard to get a team capable of doing 
stage five. Then once you get there, I just feel like the quality that you're going to get, yeah, you're probably going to spend more resources in here. But uh, I just think overall it's going to be better for you, which is a, a new opinion I, for forever. I think I was conditioned from Summoner's War. You know, there's a certain way to behave in Summoner's War. Uh, and it, it doesn't always translate perfectly to this game. So I think my advice from here on out will be get an Ice Golem. Upgrade your gear that way. I do need to level I really just I hate leveling up champs without um, an, an XP boost, especially here in the easy campaign. It's just it's such a brutal little grind, man. It took me forever to get those three Jaegers to twenty so I could four star kale. So we'll do a few runs here. Get a little bigger bit of gear. I need to think of a name for the clan. It should, I guess, it should be something relative, right? Relative to the uh, the series we're doing in the account, the popper. I don't know that I wanted to be free to play themed because I don't I don't expect everybody in the clan that joins the clan to be free to play. That's certainly not a requirement. Let's let's pull up a uh, look at a th thesaurus here. See if, see if we can't find something kind of fun. Hmm. <laughs> Beggar. Beggar might be a fun word to play. No, that's, I don't want that. I thought about something like a rags, rags to something. I don't know. We'll think about it. I have to do it in this video now, though, huh? Because I said in the beginning I was going to do it, so there's people hanging around like, you said you were going to do it. So I've got to do it. <laughs> See what I mean? It's it's like it's three star, but it's decent enough. So yeah, what we need to do here, in addition to getting Kale leveled up, is uh, is begin to start looking to start four starring the rest of our core team. Right? There's a core team that we generally take everywhere, and that's Kale. Uh, War Priest has been tagging along with us quite a bit. I'm really digging Crusader, and then I think I have replaced Armager for now with Shield Guard. I feel like he's contributing a little bit more overall to a fight than Armager is. So that's kind of our core four. So what we want to start looking to do now is four-starring that squad. Once we four-star that squad, that's going to make a substantial bump. We're going to be able to push a little bit deeper into the campaign, quite a bit deeper into the dungeons, which means the quality of what we're obtaining by spending our resources goes up, which means uh, we become capable of more which means we can start to make our guys stronger yet again. So that's what we're doing. So one of the things about being at this point in the game is that there's this real, there's this rush, there's this, there's this obsession uh, in six starring someone, right? The, the whole the whole mindset and what everybody tells you is six star your farmer, six star your farmer, six star your farmer. And while sure that is an excellent route to take, and once you six star a farmer and you can begin to make food at a, at a really efficient rate, of course, that's going to be beneficial. But you have to be careful not to get so focused on six-starring someone that you stop building teams, right? You still want your teams to, to keep up a little bit. Having a six-star farmer is nice, but if you separate your farmer so far from the rest of your team, it's going to really make it difficult to do anything else other than farm, and you're going to kind of have backed yourself into a corner where until you spend a long time farming <laughs> and building up your teams again, uh, that's really all you're going to be able to do. So keep your teams close. Have a solid, at the very least, have a solid four-star team. Uh, it's, it's not a bad idea to have a few of them five-starred. You don't really have to be in such a hurry. Um to six star someone there's an argument even for having a solid five star team 
before you have a six star farmer and and this is just a matter of opinion it, it will depend solely on who you ask and in ways it'll depend on your champ box and the teams that you're running in places but uh, particularly in Summoner's War and in other games I've played uh, like this and even in this one again there's something to be said for having a solid five-star team that you can take a lot of places and do a lot of different things with I mean don't forget before we got level 20 dungeons there were people farming uh, the deep dungeons with only five star gear and there there were people doing it with with several five star champs so five star champs can can be capable of quite a bit especially with the right gear or, or i guess i should say uh mostly with the right gear the right gear is of course crucial but um you know the the jumps between ranks are substantial so don't don't get so obsessed with six starring your farmer that you put yourself in this corner where the only thing you're capable of for a while is food farming. Make sure you're still able to bounce around in dungeons and, and farm in a way that's efficient, right? You could technically still go into the dungeons and do whatever it was you were doing before you six-starred your farmer, but it becomes a little bit less efficient when you have to do it that way, right? If you could push a little bit deeper into the dungeon that would matter. And while six-starring your farmer may make you be able to farm faster, it might not necessarily make you capable of more in the dungeons and, and things of that nature. So uh, that's that's one note I want to touch as, uh, on, on six-starring someone. Two, uh, don't get two in your head. That's another thing that I see people really get uh, freaked out about is who should my first six-star be? Who should my second six-star be? Third, whatever. There's a lot of people that, that get real freaked out when it comes time to six star somebody. It, it in the big picture it doesn't matter. You'll make more six star food, even if you six star someone and regret it. Even if you if you make a mistake, you'll make more food. It won't matter. You know what I mean? You, you'll you'll six star your first champ, and before you know it, you'll have three or four, and then before you know it, you'll have ten, and then before you know it, you'll have thirty. And it won't, it won't really have mattered. Sure, there are moves you could make that would help your progression more. And there are ideal steps to take and routes to go and, and whatever. But also at the end of the day, play your game. Have your fun. If there's a champ that you pulled that you're, you love and you have it's, it's a lot of fun and it's a legendary and it's cool and it's your favorite, then six star. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, enjoy your game. Don't, don't let yourself get too stressed out and, and weighed down with what's the right thing to do all the time, every time, because in the long run, it's not gonna matter, right? Short term, yeah, maybe you'll wish you had done something different. Maybe maybe it could have been a little more opti optimal. It'll, it'll, it'll pass very quickly, and you'll six star someone else and move on, and it'll be over. So, uh, you know, when people come into the stream or ask me in the comments about like who the next six star is, I try to guide them and, and give them help and look at the champs and see what they got going on and offer the advice. But then I always try to throw that in as as, a, as an extra, just like, just so you know, moving forward, it doesn't matter. You know, there was before I had my first six star in Summoner's War, it just felt like it was taking forever and, you know, it was so far beyond me and then before i knew it i had 40 <laughs> you know what i mean like it just you hit a point where it, you can't even remember who your first six star was anymore so don't don't let yourself get too uh, freaked out about the prospect of six starring someone only if you're really trying to keep up like if you're trying to close the gap quickly between you and the top players or you know trying to really push hard and get ahead of the curve if you're trying to be super competitive and one of the top players, then every little move you make can matter in that way. But otherwise, whatever, man. Enjoy your game. That's the big thing. Enjoy the game. Don't let it become the source of frustration and stress and aggravation. Oh, we got a block revive. That's so satisfying. That's so satisfying. It's so easy to do down here in these levels, man. I'm, I, I hate Ice Golem on my main. It drives me crazy. I think I'm stuck on like 18 right now. And I just, I hate it so bad. It's such a frustrating dungeon. If I was willing to manual it, I'm sure I could do it a little differently, but I just, I'm not. I, I don't want to manual my dungeons. I don't want to manual clan boss either. That's really the, the right thing to do. They say the right thing to do anyway is manual clan boss. I don't know if I agree. 
My damage is never that drastically different if I manual or auto. It's it's generally within a million of whatever it is I normally do if I auto or if I manual. So maybe it matters more in Nightmare. Maybe it matters more depending on your team. But I guess my team, it just doesn't matter that much. You would think it would because I run a Skull Crusher. And Skull Crusher, if you're not familiar, he has an AoE counterattack buff that he puts on the team. He puts an AoE counterattack, an AoE ally protection buff on the team, which which means he absorbs some of the damage they take when the clan boss hits him, and then he puts an unkillable buff on himself, uh, which means he can't die. So even if he absorbs a bunch of damage, as long as that unkillable buff is active, he's fine. So you would think it would matter a lot uh, <laughs> if I autoed or manualed my clan boss, but it doesn't. It, it, it is never a big difference. It just makes my runs last like five minutes longer because I'm I'm paying attention and I'm thinking about what I'm doing and I'm having to click every skill and, and plan out strategy and, you know, overthink everything. And then it, it ends and I do the same damage I do on auto. So, screw it. Why am I going to sit there and invest that much time into something that's not mattering? <laughs> I have things to do. Like, not manual my clan boss runs man that's that's so i'm so satisfied that we land a uh, block revive on one of those minions wait we didn't i swear i just saw him revive and and the guy on the left didn't come back am i insane i guess y'all are gonna have to let me know if, in the comments if i'm crazy I swear it happened. Or was it the previous run and it's all running together for me? I swear I saw him do a revive and that other dude didn't come back to life. <laughs> yeah, y'all have to let me know in the comments if I'm losing my mind here. Shield Guard's leveling up a little bit too. He's getting, you know, not the same as if we were doing campaign, but he's, he's bumping up a little bit. Kale as well, making progress. This is going to be a nice uh, situation to have brews. The brews become a little bit more valuable when you stop uh, when you stop having XP boost. I think I used them all. The nice thing is, is I get to use my void brews on my other champs because we'll never have a void champ on this account. So I'll never need them. So while they don't do quite the same amount of uh, of leveling up, it's free experience. All right. So maybe what we'll do after this run is we'll pop on over into the campaign, and we'll run Kale and Shield Guard with some food, and then when Shield Guard hits thirty, ooh, that hurts. Uh, when 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 shield guard hits 30 we'll swap and i'm sure there's another champ ooh are we going to lose this run we'll swap in another champ that we're trying to get some experience on no we should be good ooh maybe we won't be it's going to be close armager with the clutch let me trying to give me two star flats that rolls or, or, or gear. Oh, we hit the next step in our uh, event. Hopefully it's bruise, man. I'm, I'm kind of digging the bruise for this account. A tome? That's not bad. We can give that to Kale. Never hurts. Never hurts. He's coming along, actually. One more there, so one, two, three, four. He only needs four more to be fully skilled up. We can do that easy. Rare tomes are not that hard to come by. Ah, oh, it's so nice knowing I'm only ever gonna need rare tomes. <laughs> That's so great. All right, fight in the arena, summon three champs. We can do a little, little a few summons. How many, how many spots we got? Oh, I need one more green shard. I can't do nine single summons. I'm gonna have to pop 10. 33 minutes. Alright. 
Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, there's... I, uh, the summon animation's too long. There's no way I can sit through nine. Alright. Give me an outlaw monk or something. Another skull squire. Militia. Was Militia someone we wanted to do something with? If the target has less than 30% HP, HP, this attack is always critical. Hmm. That's a nice... He's a nice little cleanup. And a 60% defense break, huh? That's an interesting little kit there. Could be great cleanup. You already have him? Is this him? No, that's Sharpshooter. That militia? Let's lock him. I don't know that we'll use him, but let's go ahead and lock him just in case. So yeah, we'll 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 start leveling up some food. We'll we'll run Kale and Shield Guard, and then when he maxes, we've got Skinner and Sorceress that we want to level up as well, so. Uh, maybe maybe running two decent champs. Actually, I should level up a little bit of gear on her if I want to do that as well. So Just so that I don't have to come back and do it in a second. I'd love to get some speed boots on her, man. We're going to look around in our gear and see if we have any speed boots we can put on her. I'll just put all our stuff at plus four for the time being. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we got some speed boots. Speed boots and HP gloves would be lovely. I don't know if we're going to have it, though. I wonder how high... I feel like Kale was doing stage 6 by himself, though. I might be mistaken. Alright, we want all accuracy here. I don't care about resistance or HP right now at all. We want all accuracy here if we can get it. Because we're trying to bump her accuracy up. Okay. We'll take this to plus 8 just to see. But we really need some accuracy. She's not really going to be able to do her job without it. Do it. Do it. I failed something the other day, like, it's not a ton, it's like seven or eight times, but I was trying to go from four to five. <laughs> I had a little bit of a problem with that. Okay, so we're just dodging the stat I want. That's typical. That doesn't surprise me at all. Please tell me that speed or crit rate isn't the only set I have speed boots in. That can't be true, can it? Okay, those suck. Keep those. These suck too. I, I, I said I might not sell them. They suck. I'm selling them. They're flat stat pieces. I'm not keeping that. I have I have one pair of speed boots. That really grinds my gears. Let's see what let's see where we can farm. Get a little bit of food, level up. Um so I feel like he was doing six. I really don't want to farm seven because I I could give uh two shits about resistance gear. I don't want it. Maybe we can do here. Maybe. We're gonna need quite a few pair of pairs of speed boots as well, so maybe. Maybe like that. Let's see, he's he's three star, he's already level 12. I guess what I really ought to do at some point is level him up and evolve him so that it can be food for Kale at five star. But Fireblade, we can go ahead and try to get Fireblade to 20. And... Shit, I can't remember. I know this dude we weren't gonna use, so let's let's use him as food. I'll use my multi-battles off stream. I won't, I won't sit here and <laughs> run multi-battle. All right, let's see what this run looks like. Dude, Shield Guard's gonna be so much fun. He's such a cool champ. Man, 
I'm really interested to see what these uncommons look like too at 6 star. I have not seen a 6 star uncommon. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see like what the jump is going to be in their base stats. Because sometimes the jump from, from rank 5 to rank 6 is very substantial. I think Vrask, uh, he's an epic orc maybe. He's an HP based champ. I think at rank 5 maxed out. He's, he's at like 17,000 HP, like 16 or 17,000. And then once you get him to uh, six star, fully ascended and maxed out level, he jumps to like 23,000 HP and some change. Like it's a very drastic jump in his HP. So I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see just what, ex what the jump's gonna be. I could go into their index, I reckon, and look at their, um, look at their base stats, but I still won't know the jump from five to six star. So. But yeah, Shield Guard is one I'm definitely excited to six star. Saurus is another one I'm excited to six star. Zephyr Sniper is one I'm excited to six star. There's quite a few uncommons that I think are going to be pretty dead gum useful. And it's really nice because they, uh, most of them only have two skills. So cooldowns are not going to be as big of an issue as they are for legendary champs and epic champs. There's there's some legendary champs that have great skills that are on seven turn cooldowns. It's like, well, <laughs> a lot of good that's going to do me. So uh, the cooldowns will not be an issue. They will all be fully skilled up very easily, and a lot of them only have two skills, so they're gonna they're gonna cycle through their cooldowns really quickly and be. Pretty effective, so I'm excited. I'm excited to get it going. See what we can do. The real kicker is going to be when I finally run out of energy. All the energy that I've stored up on this account, uh, then progression might kind of grind to a little bit of a halt. But we're going to enjoy this ride in the meantime. Two star. We're going to unless there's speed, unless they're two spark two star speed we're really not going to keep any other boots it's got to be three star with it with a good stat or two star speed that's that's about all we're keeping at two star though these runs would be quite a bit faster too if we could kill that templar before he gets his block damage up templar's another one that's a lot of fun i'm excited to get him and build him up too. Templar's pretty solid. He made my, uh, I don't know if you guys saw, I did a top five farmable champs video. Templar was on that list. I think he's a pretty cool little champ. So I'm excited to get one of him and build him as well. I mean, basically as soon as he drops, <laughs> we're gonna start the, the process of building him. Pretty, pretty slick. Templar, War Maiden, Spirit Host, we will put an executioner to use in this account. And then who is the other one? M might have been, no, Valerie. Oh, Valerie and Berserker. Berserker was another one that I like. So I'm excited to get all five of those. We're, we're gonna put those guys to uh, heavy, heavy use. I can't wait to get a Berserker. All right, so I'm gonna have to just settle on a clan name. I can always change it later if we don't like it. But uh, I think after this run, we're gonna go work on getting the clan set up. And then if you guys would like to join it, you you will see me create it. You'll see the clan tag, so you'll be, you'll be able to send the application. And as I see them, I'll accept them. If you want to as well, if you, if you do send an application to join the clan, it would, just because I can't remember if I can set it to where it doesn't show everybody, like when they're looking at the list, just so I know I'm not I'm not accepting random applications, it would help me out a lot if you send a an application to the clan, if you'll comment and tell me that you sent one and tell me what your in-game name is, <laughs> that would really help me out a lot. That would help me rest easy knowing that I'm not just letting random people into the clan that would that would that would kind of erase all those questions for me so uh let's 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 take a look we will go create clan 
Clan name. All right. Maybe, maybe Prince to Popper? Since I kind of have like an account that I spend a lot of money on. And then I guess we'll just do that for now. And then clan tag P2P. I'm sure that's taken. I'm sure P2P is taken. Can't imagine that it's not. P2P was not taken. That is mind blowing. <laughs> mind blowing. So there it is. Uh, the, the, the clan is Prince to Popper. Clan tag is P2P. So again, if you would like to join, send me an application. Let me know in the comments that you sent me an application uh, and your your in-game name, if it doesn't match your YouTube name, and uh, I will get you in. And then, like I said, there's no hard requirements. There's, no, you know, I, I, I demand nothing of you, only that you're active and uh, you participate and, you know, you're working to get better. That's, that's all I can really ask for. I don't care how much damage you do to the clan boss or anything like that. So um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. And that's it. Yeah, just again, thank you guys a lot again for the, the feedback and the interaction and the positivity on the series and on my other videos. I really do appreciate it. it it's a really great uh, motivator to keep me as active as I am uh, and, and, you know, suggestions for new videos that you guys would like to see. That's all very helpful. So I do really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to having you guys in the clan and uh, again, there's a, there's a, I have a Discord, I have a community Discord if you guys would like to join that. Uh, it, it's, you'll be integrated kind of with my Twitch community if you're, if you're not a part of that already. But uh, it's a way to keep up with me, a way to get in touch with the community. We have mastery suggestion builds, uh, you know, champ build suggestions, uh, a show off channel. We just, we try to have fun and we try to help each other out. And if you have any questions and I'm not around, someone else in the community will be around and we're all generally pretty helpful and, and it's a pretty friendly community. So if you would like to join, there's a link for that, uh, the link, link for the discord below. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next episode.